So this is called Someday a Daughter. Hmm. I hope to someday have a daughter. I hope to someday have a daughter who can hold her head high and without fear. Walk down the street in whichever country she chooses, in a skirt or pants, heels or flats, night or day, and feel confident that she is safe. I hope to someday have a daughter who laughs in the face of gender norms and defies the impossible through her actions alone. I hope to someday have a daughter who is a superhero who when she feels the deep blue of humanity snuggle itself around her bones, rises with fire and declares, I'm not afraid, you are no more than a part of me. I hope to someday have a daughter who is a part of me, just as she is a part of everything. These hopes rise from spaces underneath, underneath fleshy pieces of my being that have not yet born a new identity and may not do so for many moons yet. And yet, underneath there is still this hope, this desire. Underneath any seeing to believe, underneath my own insecurity, Underneath the pain, the heartache, the pussy grabbery. <laughs> Underneath the fear that this world will crush me before I can rise to meet it and the daughter of which I speak will never actually come to be. Underneath that lies a treasure trove of hope. Glimmering golden in the dusky light of inner quietude held together by an ancestry that is more wise than it is tired and more present than we have chosen to see. There are jewels there tucked between dusty memories that when this world becomes too much to bear, I hold up to the light and find that despite what you have tried to do to me, to my unborn daughter, to all the women who grace this earth before me, to the line and lineage stretching to and from my womb like a moving sea, even despite your repeated treachery, the arrows you shot into my sisters, so scared were you of such beauty. Even still, I stand tall. We stand tall. Strong in the jewel of solidarity and sisterhood, motherhood, grandmotherhood, godmotherhood, godmotherhood, elderhood, priestesshood, and goddesshood, maidenhood and cronehood, witchhood, which could change this world. If only we would let it. And I am so damn tired of not letting it, of forgetting it, for I get that all bets are off since we let misogyny hit the mainstream and men of power step up to a mic to blatantly hate and humiliate the female body of this planet. And still you want him to speak for me? Let it be said, and strong lips that have sung such songs of vitriol and hatred will never sing for me. Still, I hope to someday have a daughter. She may be born in a body she may not, but she is a part of me. She steps outside of this stream onto the banks of her dreams and there lets herself be seen as she bursts at the seams. As unseemly as that seems, from this place of unbridled being, she walks. With head held high and renewed strength to a new world that we do not have to see to believe. Thank you so much. For